don't particularly think of um, something being a portrait or um, being figurative necessarily as much as it is uh, important to me um, to find what's interesting in how I represent the human image. And uh, it, it's, it's really more about representation and the kind of iconography that I'm able to establish in that representation of the human image. Um, so I don't think about it as a portrait or as a, 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 a figure or, or as being necessarily figurative uh, or, or in any, anything that, that becomes um, captured in that way. I, I, I'm more interested in sort of the larger um, uh, uh, characterization of what the human image represents emotively in a very specific way, but also in, in, in a larger, more grand, universal context. Well, I work from life, and um, um, uh, it's important in, in my work that I do work from um, a real experience, and um, it has a lot to do with how the experience itself becomes somehow made um, tangible in the process and how that process becomes represented on a page. Um, so so um, the, 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 the thing that we're left with um, begins to feel in, in many ways like a relic or, or like a, um, a, 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 a series of, 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 of marks that, that, that become connected to uh, a selective process that is connected to a true and believable experience. Um, and, and the process, or at least the selective process, is something that um, can only occur um, uh, over a sequence, a sequence of many, many moments, and how those moments build, and each moment becomes um, something unexpected. Whereas if you were to take a photograph, it's a, it's a 30th or 40th of a second, and it's just a single moment that that image is captured. That the process feels that it's organic, that there's uh, an organic connection um, to the way in which um, um, there's um, a sensitivity to the moment. So each moment becomes, in many ways, uh, made special, made me personal, and uh, because it's it's so intimate, and selective. Uh, in, in the same way, I, I, I mean, I like to think about us as individuals as being incredibly unique, and, and there's something um, you know, uh, miraculous about the unique characteristics of, of of everything in nature, you know, including us as human beings. You know, when we draw and we paint, what it is that we're we're, we're sort of ultimately um, connected to, you know, and, and, and that is um, a, a way of, a way of uh, some, somehow holding on to something that's basically fleeting and temporary. The majority of my painting is um, probably of, of, of people from a variety of, 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 um, of, of you know, aspects of life. So, so there's a variety of people that are portrayed and um, um, whereas in my drawing, I think it's, the figure is probably more predominant, and, and, that, and I think that in many ways is connected to the um, idea that drawing itself is somehow rooted in, um, in the human proportion. And, and the way in which we think about proportion and, and how we understand the figure um, as it becomes a um, measurement to the world and, and, and how we see it. Um, in its sort of like purest, you say pure, you use the word pure, but the way we, we, we understand the figure as, um, and just being able to draw it and understand the figure to me becomes um, um, almost like an exercise for my painting or, or for my other work. Um, so I think about my drawing in that way, not necessarily as the main thing in my work, but, but as sort of a a prerequisite in many ways to what it is that I'm ultimately after in, in, in some of the more complex, larger paintings.
not, when I mean, what I mean by proportion, it doesn't necessarily mean, well, that the head's too big or the foot's too small the hand's too big. But it, it's the way in which I think about measurement of shapes and, and how those shapes as forms are, um, are, are understood uh, um, in my representation of, of an image. An example would be if you were to paint, let's say, a landscape, as soon as you put a human figure against a tree, then we understand the scale of the tree. So uh, unconsciously, we, we as human beings identify and envision the world because of the way we understand our proportion against it. So, so that has so much to do with the reason for drawing and painting the figure for me, is that it, it somehow begins to um, become um, 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 kind of a, a connection. It begins to connect in, in a, on a deeper level how I can understand proportion as it relates to, from one shape to another or from one object to another. And, and the most sort of basic form is the figure in order to do that.